now in this method of factorization we will uh, look for some terms which can give us a complete square and maybe once we square those terms then uh, or we can we can we get a perfect square of a polynomial then probably we can take some common factors so let us take an example and understand so first of all let us take this question 4a square plus or rather let's take 4 4 x square 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square minus 8x minus 12y okay okay so if you observe there are these three terms 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square is it right? it looks like they are going to complete a square so how let us see. let us try and you know do it a little more detailed way so if you see 4x square plus 12x5 plus 9y square is nothing but 2x whole square isn't it plus and if you see 9y square can be written as 3y whole square plus 2 times 2x times 3y okay so if you see 12 can be written as 2 times 2x into 3y so 2x whole square plus 3y whole square like that and then minus 8x can be written as 4 times 2x now why did i write like that because you see there is a 2x here so i am trying to now get as close as to these factors now if you see minus 12y can be written as minus 4 into 3y again okay now what is the next step you are very you know you now you're very close so 2x square plus 2 times 2x into 3y plus 3y square can be written as 2x plus 3y whole square okay and then minus 4 2x plus 3y correct so what do you get now you get 2x plus 3y common and within brackets you can write 2x plus 3y minus 4 correct so hence the factors are 2x plus 3y times 2x plus 3y minus 4 this is how you converted a polynomial with five terms to into two factors okay let us take another example another example is this let us say we have x square plus y square minus twice within brackets x y minus x z so there is a, another factor x z plus y z okay so hence again uh, what you need to do is if you see this is x square y square and minus 2xy is hidden over here so that will give me an indication to complete the square so it is x square i can write x square plus y square minus 2xy plus 2xz again be careful with the sign so minus into minus plus 2xz and then minus 2yz isn't it so what is it now so if you see this is nothing but x minus y whole squared right and if you see this is x minus y whole squared and this is an indication that means i must get another x minus y on the from the leftover terms as well so see whether it is possible yes it is very much possible because 2 and z is common in both of them so hence i can write plus 2z common and remaining factors are x and here it is y so if you see now again we got another common factor x minus y so hence next step will be simply write x minus y so what is left if it was x minus y whole square i took one x minus y so one x minus y will be left over there and if i took away x minus y from here then what is left over here two z so hence now the factors are x minus y x minus y plus two z so what are the factors x minus y x minus y plus 2 z okay i hope you understood the method